Yeah, that's right. Son. Yes, yes, uh, Dad. Where are we? You made it here in one piece. What? Yes, Who, who's yes, that? we did. Welcome that's my friend Untamed Reginald. Wild. Oh, hi, Reginald. Name's Colton Locke. I mean, Colton Locke, sorry. <laughs> this here's the best hunting reserve you'll find in 100 miles. Yeah. Okay, but 101 I've miles away, there's a much, life. much better I hunting reserve. Right, but that's a long ways away. <laughs> and we're here now. I don't know. I kind of think I can make it there. It's time to hunt butthole. Oh, look, there's poop. Try to find there's poop right here. here. Yes, pellets. It, it put me right in front of poop. It's pellets. That's the, the term that you're supposed to D use. Droppings. Droppings. Or pellets. All right. Use G to toggle auto move. Oh, whoa, dude. I'm just moving on my own. I'm not even, like, fucking doing anything, bro. Isn't that crazy, Dad? What? What Did you, like, install metallic legs in me or something? No, like, oh, son. You're right. just... I activated my robot legs so I don't have to uh, keep pressing forward. What's, what do you got there? Oh, I don't know, just more tracks. What's that, the oh, is that tracks? Black-tailed right. deer are one of the easiest animals in the uh, reserve to hunt. Oh. I wish there was a deer that had dreadlocks and hunted you. And the predator deer. deer. Oh. There, that's it. The predator rabbit. Hide in the mud, son. Hide in the mud. I, I don't, there's no, I'm, there's no mud. I'm just, this is just a rabbit, dad. This isn't a predator rabbit. I can just shoot it. Where did it go? Oh, God damn it! I lost my fucking rabbit because of you, Dad. Crap! You're so distracting! You can't blame me, son. I didn't make you lose that rabbit. This is why people don't bring their parents on hunting trips. Uh, you know, I do appreciate you taking me out, son. You know, I've things have been getting harder lately. I've... You know, I'm getting older. Yeah, I know. Pretty soon you have to take care of my old leaky, shitty ass pretty soon. What? Before you know it, I'm gonna be, be in that home. You remember I told you that story about the man? That I met in a home, well, uh, that's gonna be where I am pretty soon. Honestly, that's fucking great, man. I'm gonna put you in a home. I'm just gonna forget that you even exist. The thing is, you're supposed to come and visit me. Okay, but if I don't, what are you gonna do about it? Well, I, I, I'll just have to get cybernetic implants and I'll come after you. <laughs> you know the movie Terminator, right? What? I'll get a Edmantium exoskeleton. Oh, shit! Look, there's deer! <gasps> Oh, look at that sucker. Oh, oh my that's god. Pretty. That's real pretty. It's look at the so antlers far away, on that though. buck. There's no way it can hear me from here. So Fuck I'm gonna, for a buck, son. I'm gonna go follow that, that buck that Find I saw. Find that or buck. Or should I go to this? There's apparently a lot of noise coming from over here. Oh, that's a rabbit. I don't give a shit about rabbits. I'm yeah, gonna hunt fucking, fucking deer, nah, Why is that rabbit so noisy? It must be farting It's something. doing a thump, man. It's attracting a mate. Oh, uh, like yeah. It's being something. like Thumper in that uh, Disney movie. Yeah. Remember that one? Which uh, movie was that with uh, Thumper? Oh, Brave Little Toaster. I thought it was the Fox and the Hound or something. No, it was Brave Little Toaster. And then uh, Bambi was one of the Brave Little Toaster's crew and her mom died. You ever see that movie with Jeff Goldblum? Because Gaston killed her. What? Which which movie? Jeff Goldblum. I've seen a lot of Jeff Goldblum movies. Dude. No, this one's called Jeff Goldblum and the Rabbits. Uh, yeah, I have not seen that one. It's really good. I uh, actually made it. I, made, I, I shot it myself. Right, because you're a filmmaker. You and Jeff Goldblum work together. Oh, yeah, we still make, make movies all together all the time. Cool. Well, how's he doing? He's definitely Great. experiencing well, you know, the kind thing of is like he, a, uh, a revitalization in I his know, career. I know. That's the problem. Uh, he hasn't been returning my phone calls much lately. He's been uh, very busy. Because of his new Jurassic Park movie. and Playing all the, you know, the Thor. naughty little characters and stuff. Naughty, naughty little... But you know, he, he got the whole idea for all that. That's the whole, that whole character he plays in all these movies. Got that from... Jeff Goldblum and the Rabbits. Take Jeff Goldblum and the Rabbits. Rabbit. Is it anything like what I'm doing here? No, it had nothing to do with hunting. Oh, shit. Well, well, well what did he do with those rabbits? Did he, like, you know, uh, make a shelter for, like, he No, he rabbits? struck he struck deals with the rabbits. He, he cut deals with them. He made deals with rabbits. You can't make deals with rabbits. No, like trades. Oh, yeah! Did you see that shit? You shot one. You got one. I can't believe oh, it. Oh, yeah. You right really hunted. In the Go face. Ahead. Look at that. You cunt, You hunted that rabbit. I mean, hunted that rabbit. White-tailed jackrabbit. Look at where I shot it. Right in its fucking eyeball. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's I love great. that I can see. And the bullet didn't go all the way through. It stopped. That's it hilarious. stopped right in the center of its brain. Oh, my goodness. That's wow. great. And that butthole is intact. Look wow. at that. Oh! Oh, dude, I shot that one in the jaw. I thought it was another headshot, but it was apparently a jaw shot. That's not nearly as impressive. Did did Jeff Goldblum shoot any of them in the jaw? Any of the rabbits? No, he didn't shoot rabbits. He cut deals with rabbits. Yeah, but clearly, surely there was some sort of moment when one of the rabbit deals went south, and Jeff had to, you know, improvise. Well, he didn't do anything. Jeff had, you know, he had his whole squad to back him up. Jeff Goldblum have a, had a squad? Yeah, a big squad. Oh, were there any really cool actors in this squad? 
No, Jeff Goldblum's squad, they were all rabbits. Okay, well, of course. I should have seen that coming. <laughs> were there any other human beings in this movie, Jeff no, Goldblum and the rabbits? No, just Jeff Goldblum. He really didn't have much going on for movies at that time. Well, he's got a lot going on now, and he doesn't have to do weird he, independent movies like about rabbits. Uh, it wasn't independent. Well, of course it was. It was I haven't no, heard it, it was dependent. What? Dependent on what? On money. Yeah, but... Where'd the money come from? Like, probably you or from, Jeff Well, we Goldblum actually sold right? the drugs that we shot, up in, that the rabbits gave us in the movie. So, okay, so th this is what it was. It was not actually a movie, it was just a fucking drug front. Yeah, we just did <laughs> drug deals with some <laughs> it was, rabbits. It was just a drug front. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. I am, there's not even a, a, a tiny little sliver of me that's surprised that Jeff Goldblum does movies for drugs. This was back in the 80s, though, you know. Yeah, especially back in the 80s. Like, cocaine was big back then. That was even before Jurassic Park. So were rabbits. Dra rabbits were definitely before Jurassic Park, that's true. No, I mean rabbits were big in the 80s. Oh. Hmm. Drug rabbits. Roger Rabbit, I remember he was kind of big in the 80s. And uh, and his hot, super hot redhead wife, Jessica Rabbit. Remember yeah. her? Yeah, oh, I remember that. That was just animated though. There's nothing real about that. This had real rabbits in it. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Remember that movie? That had real actors in it. Yeah, but not real rabbits. That's probably the best rabbit movie why I've would ever you, seen, Why actually. would you make a movie without real rabbits in it? Because real rabbits aren't good at acting, and they also they, die they're amazing very at acting. quickly. All the rabbits I had in my movie were hardcore motherfuckers, and that's, you didn't want to fuck with them. That's There's no fucking way. Rabbits don't develop personalities like that. They don't, they're not You don't cool. want to fuck with these rabbits. I'm going to fuck with this rabbit, though, real quick, Ray. I don't know these rabbits. These rabbits, I don't even know if they what, what they do for a living. Yeah, well, they die. That's what they do. Wow, that was a really great shot. You nicked it in the... the Look at how amazing that shot was. Arterial... Both lungs nip. and its fucking spine. Kind of looks like it just went over the top of the rabbit. I don't no, know. It, it fucked him good, I man. hit it in, like, the neck. Dad, why are you not more impressed with me? I'm doing some really great hunting. I'm just floating back through memory lane, son. You know, I'm getting old now. But in the 80s was my... The big time in my life. I made most of my most popular movies. I actually mm -hmm. made a... You know, I'm, I was the first one to make a sequel to Jurassic Park. Really? Yeah. What was it called? Jurabbit's oh. Park. Jurabbit's Park. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And instead of dinosaurs, let me guess, Jeff Goldblum goes to a park where they've genetically engineered rabbits. Well, uh, you're right on most counts, but Jeff, he wouldn't do that one. What? No. Why not? He's, he got too big for his for his britches. Oh, okay. Because you said this was the 80s, but Jurassic Park came out in like 91 or something like right, that? Right, yeah, but they were shooting in, in the 80s. Maybe? No, they weren't shooting Jurassic Park in the 80s. You couldn't have made a sequel to Jurassic Park in the 80s, dude. Yeah, I did before it came out. No, you're lying. You're lying to me. Why do you lie? Why do you fucking lie I'm to your own lying, son? not lying, son. Just because you don't understand, like... That my back hurts is playing Dark Souls 3 right now. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. My back does hurt, son. Now that you mention it, son, that's why Jeff wouldn't do Jurabbit's Park with me. Because he was already doing He had already Jurassic committed Park. to doing Jurassic Park. Okay. So I had a character all set for him for Jurabbit's Park. So you wrote a sequel to a movie that hadn't come out yet. No, to the book. But it was, book. it was to the book. Yeah, a book, the book, which already had a sequel. Yeah, I mean, it, it just the so timeline happens. wasn't very important. It was more about the rabbits. And you just so happened that you tried to get Jeff Goldblum to do it, but he was too busy shooting the actual Jurassic Park. That's right, yes. Okay, wow. That, Incidentally. That is If you really want to go back and plot out the exact then. details of the timeline, I don't know why I, it matters. I do want to do that because I don't believe... A word well, of course this is true, son. I Everything I tell you. Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me that my mother was a man for most of my life. You told me she was, like, dead or something. Mm, Becky? Yes. Well, the thing is, now, that was a lie based on, you know, not wanting to hurt your feelings. Why would that have hurt my feelings? I, would have, I was a child. You could have told me my mom was fucking Santa Claus, and I would have believed you and, not, and been no, cool I, with it. No, you know, I, wouldn't, I didn't want to deceive you, son. I wanted to, uh, wanted to make you feel like you had a normal family. Uh, there. <laughs> Normal family who with a. You cooked buttholes into cookies and then made me take them to school. There's yeah. nothing normal about that. That's normal. Most families take no. have their kids bring cookies to school. Yeah, yeah, but they have chocolate chips in them, not fucking grizzly bear anuses. This is really uh, you know, you you got right into the hunting. Yeah, I did. There's no drama or anything. You just you get it right in there and you start hunting. Yes, yeah, so I feel like oh my god, is that Bigfoot? Oh, no, no, that's a just, lake. 
It's just a lake. That's a lake. I thought I thought the lake was Bigfoot. My bad. Nope. Probably they're just shooting a beef jerky commercial or something. Oh, that would be cool. I would love to shoot a man who was dressed up as Bigfoot in a beef jerky commercial. Well, I can arrange that for you. Yeah? Yeah, I know some people. An animal has seen me. Oh, come on. It wasn't a goddamn oh, yep. deer, was it? Oh, he's going to report you now. The police will be here in minutes. God damn it. See how slowly I have to fucking move? There's, this is ridiculous. Yeah, it's great. I love it. This is fascinating. This is absolutely ridiculous. Thrilling. I'm fucking jizzing all over my very old man underwear right now. Okay, so what's so what's so bad about being old? Tell me. Why do you why do you hate being old? Everything so much? gets crusty in your side and all over your body. Everything's crusty, crusty all There's over your body. There's crusty bits all over the place. You got to get them removed. Go to the doctor. Get them all plucked off or f froze. Uh, what? Crusty what? bits. What? I've never heard that before. All your muscles start to to flicker. Flickering muscles? <laughs> uh, are you sure you don't have, like, radiation sickness or something? I don't think Flicking so. Fucking crusty no. things that freeze off your body and your muscles flicker? I think that went away a while ago. Oh, oh, oh. That's a deer. They may have, they may have seen you and they may have notified the authorities. Shit, deer. Yeah, that's definitely where they were. Yeah, that is. That is where they were. This How is could like they have a real. Seen me? I was so far away. This is like real hunting. You actually, you can't just find animals instantly and kill them. This seems like a real hunting game. <laughs> yeah, I think it actually is a real hunting game. I'm well, very then you surprised. Should, you should craft and build a hunting stand. That would make things a lot easier. You that would. You just sit there for an hour and wait for some stupid deer to come along and then brain them. Yep, and then in the meanwhile, I can play an actually fun game. <laughs> Exactly. On my portable gaming yeah, system. Yeah, you can play a mobile game. Maybe uh, Elder Scrolls Blades. There you go. Nope. Can't play that. It's not out yet. Damn it. Dick Ovens. Dick Ovens is playing golf with your friends. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, you can't do that, though. Sorry, son. Uh, why can't I do that? I want to play with Dick Ovens. Nope. Oh, it's because I'm stuck here hunting, isn't it? God damn it, we need why? need those buttholes so we can actually make the, put put the buttholes in the oven. That's what I'm here for? I'm here for buttholes? Your moniker should be butthole ovens. You never asked me what Jurabbit's Park is about. You just assumed it was, you know, a direct sequel to the book and all about the... I, I did. I, I really did. Uh, what, is it not about that? <laughs> no, not at all. What is it about, then? It's just about a park. Okay. What kind of park? Where rabbits go when they get old. Oh. Jurabbit's Park. So, old rabbits go to Jurabbit's Park, and then what do they do there? Just live out the rest of their days peacefully? Well, they get, yeah, they get taken care of. But what happens in the movie is the Jurabbit's Park, there's a bunch of old rabbits. Everything's fine. Everything's going well. And then, all of a sudden... What? A, ty what? a Tyrannosaurus Rex... Uh, sh rips and shreds every oh, last rabbit. Oh my Kills them goodness! All. Exterminates them like anime exterminator. I was playing mm -hmm. Ark Survival and Evolve. Wow, that also would be a much more fun game to Wouldn't play. Wouldn't it? Too bad though. This. Too bad though, son. You need to hunt. You got to hunt. I was oh, able Jesus. to get Jeff Goldblum's head in Jurabbit's Park. Jeff Goldblum's head using special effects from the day. You oh. know how great the special effects are in Jurassic Park. I, well, yeah. You know, Jurabbit's Park had really good special effects, too. There's no way it was as good as uh, Jurassic Park's effects, though. It was pretty good. The Tyrannosaurus Rex actually finds another Tyrannosaurus Rex with the head of Jeff Goldblum. <gasps> what? Yeah. For real? Yes. So it's like a weird Jeff Goldblum T-Rex hybrid? Well, no, it just has... It's just a T-Rex with Jeff Goldblum's head on it. Sort of... Uh, oh. You know, copied and pasted digitally. Sort of like a, you know, one of those jib-jab things or something. Okay. All right, then what Then what happened? What did the Jeff Goldblum T-Rex do? Did they fight? Did it win? Well, no, they became friends. Really? Yeah. Man, nothing goes the way you think it will in this movie. Well, the the, the Jeff Goldblum dinosaur was actually had been imprisoned by the uh, elderly rabbits on the island. This uh, other Tyrannosaurus, uh, turns out, you know, he's the protagonist. Comes on, He comes to the island, he kills all these rabbits. Turns out they're actually evil. They were actually just there to imprison the Jeff Goldblum dinosaur and murder him. No fucking way. Yeah. So the rabbits did end up betraying someone That was in this their movie. evil plan. That was their evil plan. Wow. So you had evil rabbits in Jurabbit's Park. That's right. And they also dealt drugs. Evil drug-dealing rabbits. Unlike the good drug-dealing rabbits from, uh, from Jeff Goldblum and the rabbits. 
Right. Oh my god, where the fuck is this deer? Jesus, titty fucking Christ. Holy shit in heaven. Why is it so far away? I told you it was miles away, those deer run fast, and you're just fucking crouched and wobbling along like an adult. Alright, 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 fuck it. I'm getting up. Very fresh. That's good news. That means they're close. Could be right around the other edge of these trees. Maybe they're right there, lying down on the ground. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the deer. Where? What are you talking about? I don't... the... the... Never mind. Better be careful, the Nazgul. The Nazgul, son, they're coming. I don't give a shit. I'm, all I care about is killing this fucking deer. Oh, God, the Nazgul. They're surely gonna rip you limb from limb. Dad, oh. I don't give a shit. Do you want me to call in some rabbits? Call in some eagles. They will take no, care the of the Nazgul. No, eagles don't do your bullshit. That's the whole point about the fucking eagles. They're not just there to, like, do your fucking bidding. They have their own lives. Everybody's just like, why didn't the eagles go do this? Why didn't the eagles go do that? Because the eagles got fucking better things to do. Well, I'm asking you to petition the eagles to maybe, you know, reconsider that this might be the most important thing for them to do. Maybe the eagles didn't want to get taken over by the power of the ring, and then they, they take over the Mordor, and then they become Sauron. Could, he, could giant eagles even wear a fucking ring of power? Of course they could. It adjusts to the size of whatever of the wearer. But do, do they even have fingers? They have fucking claws or beaks. They can put it over their beak. <laughs> I would love to see a giant eagle with the one ring on its that beak. That would be a powerful fucking eagle. They were already would, so powerful. It would be so powerful. And everybody's just like, oh yeah, why don't the eagles go just fucking grab those hobbits? And they could just eat them, and then they have the ring inside them, them yeah. turn invisible, and then take over the whole fucking planet and do Sauron's bidding. It, it's just not as clear cut as everybody makes it out to be. And it no, makes it me never is. Upset. Never is. Do you know what else makes me upset? No fucking deer. <sighs> I can't hunt now. I'm too old to hunt. So instead I go to restaurants and I put my balls on the table and it scares the, the people away. Uh-huh. And then I take all their food. Oh. Especially you know, ladies, they don't like that. And so then they, they usually run away and then I can take, you know, their salads and stuff. And usually they just order just like shitty salads and stuff, but not all of them do. And then, but sometimes the problem is the ones that really like their food, they don't leave their table, and they they sometimes will stab my balls with a fork. Okay. It takes a long time for that to heal. The older you get, the longer it takes for your balls to heal from a fork stab. That's the main part I don't like about getting old. When I was young, I could get stabbed in the balls by you name it. It'd only take a couple days, I'd be back in action. Now it's just one little ball stab, and it takes a month for me to get back out on the on the hunt. What are these things that I have, Dad? Yeah, I think it's a grenade. Oh, this is a deer trap. Uh, a moose, a moose whistle. It's a moose whistle. Yeah, you just summoned a moose. You should have been using this the whole time. Now you could have actually been hunting. That doesn't sound realistic. How do you know what realistic deer sounds like? Because I'm a deer impersonator. <laughs> I try to, that's the noise I make when I put my balls on the table at restaurants. <laughs> it, it sounds something like, plop. Exactly, that's exactly what it sounds like. And then either it's, ah, and they run, or it's, and there's a fork through my balls. Plop. <laughs> awesome. Son, you know what you gotta do? What? You gotta you gotta fucking drop assassinate one. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's practice that right now. Why don't you try your drop assassination skills? There, pretend that rock down there is a deer. All right, go that one right, right there. Yeah, now you jump on that. Okay, Kill ready? it. Kill that deer. Drop assassination. Ah! <laughs>